Hi, C's. How you doing? Welcome to your daily tarot reading. Oh, it's not daily, it's weekly. Do apologize. I do do dailies on the shorts. Um, yes, so, I, you know, you, you must excuse me. It's your weekly reading um, going from the 8th to the 14th of uh, April. We've got the eclipse on Monday um, on the 8th. And uh, yes, if you want to know more about that, you can find some more information out about that on Cymatic TV, our sister channel, linked in the description or around my head at the end of this reading. But in the meantime, let's see what's going on for you this week. You've got the overall energies here. You've got your karmic message for your relationship side, karmic message for your financial side, influence from the universe, influence from your past self, influence from your future self, and the general outcome. Uh, let's just see what's going on for you. Eight of Wands, out with the old and in with the new. Hmm. This is a real random opportunity. And it doesn't seem to be, it's not like, it's not like something that you plan for. It could be connected something to something to your that you've planned for. So you might apply for a job and actually be offered a um a, a better role in the company rather than the role that you're going for. It's that sort of thing. It's like a bonus sort of like and it, it just changes a lot of things, I think, within your life, financially, but also on your relationship side, because it makes you feel a lot more secure about where you're going and what you're doing, basically. Really beautiful. And it is coming from the outside. So this is why I kind of think that you may not actually see it coming. It could well be someone's asking you to marry them or move in with them or whatever it is. This is the unison card. It's all about you connecting with others, with another person. It's bringing your plan together with the plan of someone else, basically. It's all about the unison. And I think this is on your karmic path to have this, maybe. It's here to have, you know, you're, you're, you're destined to have love. Or to go, take your relationship to the next level. Or to meet that person. It's just something that comes in that's really quite passionate. And makes you feel very, very joyous. Lily O'Reilly. Pisces. Oh. It's so good. It feels really, really vibrant. And now you're getting from the universe, you're getting the Ace of Cups. You know, if, if you're not, if no, one's, if no one's proposing to you, maybe you should be proposing to someone. But whatever it is, it seems to be a real coming together here and, a, and an offering that comes out of the blue. It just seems out of the blue here. Well, it just seems to be like, you know, you ordered a, um, like... Um, a bottle of wine at a, a, a restaurant and uh, they were supposed to bring you like a I don't know like a $20 wine and a bottle of wine and they bought you like an $80 bottle of wine but the bottle was already open and you're just kind of going well I, I didn't order that I ordered the other thing and they kind of go oh well look, that's open now you know please accept it on our apologies and everything so you get like a really nice bottle of wine you know you're only paying $20 for it that sort of thing do you know what I mean? It's like, it's really nice. So there is an, I would be very open to a lot of things around you. Yeah, this is from your past self to your future self. This is, um, I think you've been attentive to your life, your emotional side of life. And because you've been attentive to your emotional side of life, you're also, and this is what you could be doing. It's like, you're creating a wave of karmic uh, profit in your life. Um, you've been doing that. And now you're getting this wave coming in from the universe with the returning wave that you've created as well. So it's double bubble. You're making double money out of this, you know, out of this relationship. So kind of thinking, oh, I'd ideally, I'd like, you know, this type of person to walk into my life. And they walk into their life, but they happen to also walk into their life with, Another another element which you could have only dreamt about, but you didn't even ask for because you thought, oh, that would be a little bit too cheeky. But yeah, you're getting everything that you so so want and desire. Wow, Pisces. Love is in the air. Come on. You're joking me. 
This is mad. This is... Do not, do not take your eyes off the prize here of what is going on around you, of what is going on in your life. It is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. You've now got the ace of, of pentacles on your relationship side, along with the ace of cups and the ace of, ace of wands. Triple ace. Triple aces here. It's all new. It's, this is why it's so coming in. It's so new. It's, it's, this could be a new love. This could be marriage. This could be a whole new way of enjoying life with other people that are around you. You know, it's, I, I feel like a, like a teenager in love. That's what it feels like, uh, you know. What was that song? It was a doo-wop song, wasn't there? Teenager in love. An old 50s, 40s song. 1950s and 1940s song. But anyway. <laughs> Instantly, I, I thought to myself, I, you know, I, I refer to it as um, being the best example of yourself. I also think you need to fight for this opportunity. I think this is what is being offered up. There's something new that's really come into your life. And this here is not the outcome. This is the future. This is the outcome. And I think here is, is that I think you have to fight for it. I think it's worth fighting for. And I don't mean fighting as obviously like getting down a, you know, fisty cuffs. I really look like a Mike Tyson proper boxer then. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's, I think you need to defend it. I think, I think you need to be the best example of yourself. Yes, always. Don't waste your time on being second best. Only waste your time on being the best example of yourself. But I do believe you need to, you know, this opportunity, this opportunity doesn't come without you actually kind of going, yeah, I'm going to, I want this. I want it. I want it. I want it. You've got to, it's got to be all in here. It's got to be all in here, Pisces. Oh, there's a choice on your karmic path, on your financial side. Do you know what? It could be like that you meet this person and, uh, you know, and it, it's just so fantastic. But it turns out that they've just got themselves, you know, they could just got themselves a job working on the other side of the country. And... You know, it's a choice here. Do you know? Do, do I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? I'm not going to break into that song. Um, and it's your karmic message here. Anyway, that's for some of you, but it's on your karmic message here to make a choice. And I think it's a choice about what. Um, there's something that's. It's also this is the other thing that's coming through. It's something that's being revealed to you that allows you to make this choice. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to make this choice. And I think it's a good thing that you need to make this choice. I think it's a beneficial thing. And yes, it's a choice about sort of what's really working for you and everything like that. But there seems to be something that's being revealed to you this week that makes you, and it could be like um, something like, you you know, your, your manager is leaving or um, you find a new way of, of you know doing herbal medicine that no one else has ever done so you're gonna you know you got to take this opportunity to if it works for you then you know maybe do a youtube channel about it or whatever and you know that's what's going to be really going to set you on fire in your life it's all learning about this you know your your boss who's going to be leaving so there's this opportunity to buy the company or to you know to move up a, a, a level within your career path or you know, it just seems like that. There's like you're getting some sort of information which allows you to take a big step forward. The universe is all about celebration at the moment for you. It's trying to bring a lot of joy into this. And I think the the decision that's revealing to you is going to make you feel very excited about the future. Because it's it's all new. You're discovering a whole new world. And it seems like the universe is sort of kind of like, in order to discover that world, you have to sort of connect with other people. And the universe is really asking you to do that. Absolutely beautiful. 
and then you get the four of cups. Two, three, four. Getting a little bit progressive here. Ace is on the other side. I think you've you've distilled it. I think basically you've probably been looking at what you've been doing as a job, business, or project, or, or whatever you're doing in your life, um, and you know it's it hasn't all worked in every single area for you, and it may make you feel a little bit sort of like, come oh, on, why isn't it working? And this is because you need to distill you distill the essence into one cup, that ace of cups sort of scenario. And I think here you've done that in your past. You've really done that in your past. And now it's like the offering that is coming into you. And we get it again here. And as I say, you know, it could have something to do with your relationship side here. Your financial side could really have something to do with your relationship side here as well. Because uh, there's a, you know, once you distill it all, the essences, and I think you've done that, that's when you're going to get the good results. <coughs> your future self is enticing you forward with the empress having control over your emotions having the ability to create a lot of things in life through um various sort of elements within your workspace within your job within your business whatever within your material world so um let's just say you're taking ingredients for a, a, a recipe and just changing it around adding different things into there because that's the season at the moment you know adding uh, in peppers in there which you wouldn't normally have in that thing because it's summer um you know or getting towards summer anyway and it's like that's where you're combining a lot of things uh and in, in a very practical way actually in a very practical way and this could be something to do with that revealing to you that you have complete and utter control over your destiny if you just engage in it. And you get the outcome. The general outcome is the seeing things differently. Seeing things differently will allow that Empress card to come through. And that's what I mean about sort of like making a dish and sort of saying, you know, or making ice cream and kind of going, do you know what, I'd like to make it out of uh, oranges. Orange ice cream. I don't think it exists. I've never seen it. <laughs> But it's that sort of thing of seeing things a little bit differently is going to breed the success into your life. And it could be the fact that you might be moving because it might be connected with your uh, relationship side of life because that is just phenomenal. And yeah, yeah, it's phenomenal. It's not that this side, not that your financial side is in, in you know, uh, sort of like insignificant. But at the same time, I think it's 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 a heavy influence upon the every aspect of your life. Let's just have a look what's going on with the Light Seers cards, shall we? Uh, with a bit of um, clarification, get the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands, taking that one there and and yeah, taking it and riding it basically. Um, it is very sociable card, and then we saw that with the Three of Cups on that side there. I think you get that with the unison on your karmic path as well. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands is very passionately going after on a, on, a, on a mission of passion. And that's what it seems to be here. Ooh. Okay, what did I say about the Five of Wands? You, I think you've got to fight for it. So you get this four here, this unison here, yeah? And you've got to put yourself forward. You've got to fight for it. And I think that's what the Six of Pentacles is all about. It's about putting yourself first, putting your happiness first. It's really, really important in this situation here. Because it will be a very, very long-term happiness that it creates. Yeah, I seriously think it comes out of the blue. That's what this is. And the, it's coming from the universe. So it's, this, you couldn't get... This is like the very extremity of your world basically and you can't see it coming but it is so beautiful it is it is so lovely it is so lovely this is such a beautiful beginning for you Pisces chuff the bits wow there's something you gotta walk away from 
And this is to do with your past. So, as I said, I think you've been creating waves that accumulated with the waves of reality of the universe that is around you. And this is building in this big wave that is going to take you to somewhere and it's going to allow, and I think your curiosity has been healthfully um, spiked or, 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 or wettened to sort of kind of go, yes, I want to see what's down there. I want to go, I want to go and see what's down there. I want to explore. Put yourself first here. This is amazing. This is amazing, uh, Pisces. Put yourself first. The opportunity of, for you to have complete and utter control over your destiny by taking the Wheel of Fortune by, with both hands and really applying it. But as I said, it's, it's not going to come without a fight. It's not come. It's not going to come without you. Sort of. Ah! Oh, look at this on the relationship side here. Yeah, on the relationship side. Four aces. Four aces. I think if you fight for it, it's going to be your crowning glory, and that's why that wheel of fortune is with the. Um, uh, Ace of Pentacles. And out with the old and in with the new. I almost just want to stop there. This, the financial side, as I say, I think it's tied into, um, tied into your, your relationship and your emotional side of life um, in such a beautiful way. In such a beautiful way. King of Cups with this. There's something that's being revealed to you makes you feel incredibly, this is what I said, it's an incredibly good thing. This thing that's being revealed to you, that's making you make a choice, I think is a bit of a no-brainer. I think you've got to see things differently and, and literally realise that this choice here is going to take you to Wonderland, you know, feeling so good about life, just with this beautiful sunshine. There's someone logging behind me, obviously, in the woods, cutting down a few trees, but apart from that, paradise on earth and this is what i'm saying you know i think this is what life is offering you here it's absolutely amazing ten of cups my word pisces gee whiz the universe just wants so much good stuff for you um with this connection with other people and a celebration uh, as i said i think it could well be connected to your relationship side Whatever it is, it's a celebration of, of you and your connection with other people that are around you. It's, it's almost as if, like, you know, you're getting that contract that finally everybody around you has been willing you to get. And now you're finally getting it after a lot of uh, hard work. Look at that. The Four Cups wanting the jump there. As I said, the Four of Cups is there already. Let's just see what's going on. A leap of faith. I think this is where you've been distilling a lot of things in the past. You've built yourself to a situation where, um, I, you know, you've been planning on this business, planning on this business. It's not that you can just kind of go let go of it. You've got to take that leap of faith and just go ahead and do it. And I think it's going to be really, I think it's going to be an absolutely massively good for you. Really, really rewarding for you, this leap of faith. Or this has been. It's. I think you've already done this leap of faith because it is in your past and you've distilled it all. You know what you're going after. And now it's revealing the rest to you. Your karma is revealing the rest to you. So you get the inside or insight uh, and the insider information about how to create your success. With the Empress cards, you get the Nine of Wands. This comes up from the very long-term part. I, I think this is about going on a journey. And, and if you see behind this person here, there's eight wands behind this person, right? So that is the communication. That is, the eight of wands is about um, gifts or, or communications, um, you know, uh, between, uh, you know, from one source to another, a secret being revealed in a way uh, to you, giving you a focal point, a purpose. 
And that purpose is that ace of wands there that you've got, which is in this section here, you know, on the overall energy. And it's just a case of you going ahead and following your path using that information in order to create something completely new with the Empress card. Because she is giving birth to something out of the combination of everything. Around her, there is, there is you know, there's forests, there's, there's a stream, a little bit like where I am. I, I, you know, I could well be the Empress, quite happily. Um, but, you know, she's sitting on a, a log uh, that's in the shape of a uh, heart. So she's got control over her emotions, but she's combining all the different elements that are around her and creating all that corn. So she's actually, you know, she's, she's pregnant with something new. She's creating a whole new world. And I think this is what is happening for you here. Look at that. Is this divine counterpart as well? Wow. Tell me how it's going in the comments. I'd love to know. I'd love to know if, you know, what bubbles up from all of this. I'm dying to know. I almost want to do the following week's reading right now. Seeing things differently is going to so empower you in your financial world. It's, um, you know, the Empress, as I said, she has a control over her empire through her emotions. The Emperor, obviously has a control over his empire through the physical sense, you know. And it's a bit of a game player. Uh, seeing things differently, knowing how to play the game. It's like, if you imagine you were doing a YouTube channel, you might be doing a YouTube channel, right? And um, you understood the algorithm. And all of a sudden you apply that to your rhythms, to your videos, and that's it. You know, you get hundreds and millions of subscribers and what have you. And you owning it because you've got this secret information coming through. But I think it's heavily influenced by your relationship side. Pisces, please do tell me how is it going. Put it in the comments. It'd be lovely to hear from you. Wow. What a reading. What a reading, Pisces. Can't wait to see the, uh, see the next one. You might be able to see it on, um, as we're, I'm going to try and do an, an eclipse reading, timestamp reading. I'm very busy at the moment doing lots of other things. I'm renovating a studio, uh, a recording studio. Um, but um, So I'm very busy at the moment. So I'm trying to get as much done as possible. But um, yeah, it's going to be so amazing to see. You'll see also a lot of stuff on Cymatic TV, our sister channel. It'll be linked around my head or in the description below. Uh, so I'll either see you there or I'll see you here, whichever way it is. It'd be lovely to see you again. In the meantime, Pisces, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.